So today I'm going to walk you through setting up a decal pack. So start off in Mod Builder by adding a new decal pack. And then we're going to create a mod file. Now your mod folder, you can put it anywhere you want. There's no real restriction on that. Um, I put mine in GitHub because I use GitHub a lot, but you could put yours on the desktop or in the root of C. It doesn't matter. Wherever you want to put it is, it'll work wherever you put it. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to use for my first decal pack. Um, and I, I recommend naming your mod and XML file uh, the same as your mod folder. So my first decal pack. And then XML file is down here. It's called attribute file in the wizard. Just the same name. And then the name, description, and preview image are what are going to show up in Steam Workshop. So I'm just going to do my first decal pack. Keep it simple. Um, and preview image, if you don't have it right away, that's fine. You can add it later, not a problem. Uh, I don't have mine now, so I'm just going to leave that blank. Icon path and decal path, uh, we're actually going to do this manually but you could just as easily set a path for both of those wherever you want within your mod folder and actually once you've set decal path it'll actually allow you to clone the four original files I've actually done this ahead of time so we're just gonna skip this and do this manually for now so it should create an attribute locale and info file right off the bat and so now we're gonna add you can right click on any of these folders and then new table of contents select data hit OK and then right click on data and add a new subfolder. We're going to rename that art and add another subfolder called UI. So art will be for your actual textures and then UI will be for your icons. Uh, UI, you're going to want to right click on that, add burn icons, and then select a folder. I've already created these ahead of time, but in your mod folder, I would just recommend making a data folder and art and UI subfolders of that. So I'm going to select UI here, and then Art. It's a little bit different. You're going to add a Burn folder, and then uh, I've already created it ahead of a time again. So I'm just going to select it here. Once you've selected the Burn folder for Art, right-click on it, Add Burn Settings, and select Generic Image to Data RGT. Basically, what this will do is it will convert your TGA files uh, to the appropriate format for use in game, so in this case RGT. Now the default burn settings are fine, the only thing you're going to have to change is flip image, set that to true, and then hit OK. So those are ready now. And since I've already set this up ahead of time, I'm just going to open this folder. What I've done is I've extracted those four files and I've put them in here already. And I have them in their, the same file structure as what you can find in the default archives. It's a little bit different than what the wizard does. Um, I just prefer it this way. So you can do it whatever way you prefer as well. Um, so I have these in here. And the last step we're going to have to do is, now that this mod is created, I have an ID for it. So I'm going to right click on there, copy that ID. And then in each of these, I'm going to create a subfolder with that ID. And then I'm going to drag the TGI file in there. So the full path will be data art armies the faction badges your mod ID and then inside of that will be your your texture so we're going to do that for each of these here oops didn't mean to open that All right, and now these are ready for use. So the last thing you're going to want to do is set up your attributes. So we're going to launch the attribute editor by right-clicking on that XML file and editing. While that's loading, I'll just really quickly show you how you can add a preview image later on. Oh, well, never mind, I finished. I'll show you anyway. So you just right click on info, add burn file, and then I would recommend uh, 
putting a TGA file with the dimensions 280 by 280 in your mod folder and just call it my first decal pack or whatever your mod name is and then TGA and just select that there and that's all you would have to do pretty simple alright so attributes so we're gonna clone this existing one no oh, sorry actually I should show you so you go to categories inventory vehicle decal I already had it open um, and then clone the existing one there we're not going to clone the, lo the localized strings since we're going to create our own and let's say my first AEF decal we're going to do this by faction you could just as easily make one TGA file and instead of having like a specific army you could do data art common and then the rest the same as before and you could make one that affects all factions I'll show you how to do that here in the attribute at least so uh, it's actually set up for all races anyway, but you'd only need one decal if you're going to use it for all races. But in this case, we're just going to set it up per faction. So we're going to delete those other ones, and we're going to come in here and we're going to change this to AEF. Hopefully I still have this in my clipboard. Yep, okay. And then ours was just default diff, diffuse. All right, and the, this is just uh, if I had an icon, I don't right now, but I would put in mod icons, capital M, capital I, underscore the ID of the mod, underscore, and then within that data UI subfolder, if you had something like icon.png, since icons are in PNG format, you could just use the file name like that without the extension. Um, and if you had a subfolder, let's say you wanted to organize it a little bit better, like per faction, so you had an AEF subfolder, and then just something called icon.png in that, you just put the subfolder underscore the file name. And that works for any number of subfolders, just subfolder underscore, subfolder underscore, etc., etc. So that's pretty easy. And then you would just clone this for the other factions. And then changes the race. So German, Soviet, West German. And then of course you change the faction here as well. And now this uh, name and description field here these will actually be what shows up when you look at something in your inventory so when you go to the vehicle decal uh, section of your inventory you'll see this name and description so if you wanted to you could have it the same as what you're gonna have in Steam Workshop or you could have something different like maybe something specific to the faction like uh, my first AEF decal you know something like that and then you could do the same for each of the other factions just add a specific string for that and that's pretty much it that's all you would have to do in the attribute editor so then you would just save your changes go back to mod builder save your changes there and then build now this might take a while since converting uh, TGA files to the appropriate format um, can be kind of extensive so I'm just gonna leave it at that and uh, let me know if you have any questions or issues I'd be happy to answer them in the comments thanks